before we get started, just bring us up to see you back Well, it uh, looks like you know, Mud is going to be out a couple weeks, uh, strained shoulder, uh, and they'll reevaluate that. Unfortunately, this happens sometime during the okay. So, with that in mind, have you decided who you want to start to Still make? talking about it right now. Okay. So, what are you looking at? Like, how do you kind of, when you're figuring out that decision? It's, some it's of replacing it is, him with what he's doing. Yeah, some of it is looking at the combinations, but, you know, obviously at the end of the day, Trey Burke is back in the mix okay. um, one way or another. Uh, Courtney Lee has got to be ready to go. Okay. You know, especially against a team this small that plays this fast. Okay. Um, and coach, with Mitchell Robinson, in terms of teaching him with the fouls and keeping his hands where you want him, what has been the most effective tool that you've been able to use? Drill work, film work. Um, like I said, before he got injured, he really was taking big strides in that area. Mm -hmm. um, you know, recently, I think it's more of a conditioning thing than anything else. It's just when he gets tired, uh, he resorts back to old habit. But we'll just keep drilling it, uh, keep working on things, and keep him fundamental about defending and challenging things at home. The Nets have had some success lately. They're without Spencer Dinwiddie tonight, but when you look at them on film, you know, what are the things that you see? Uh, I just think they've really did, uh, distinguished themselves as a fast, attacking three-point shooting team. Uh, I really do think Kenny and them have done an incredible job of developing the talent over the last few years. Uh, you know, they've been patient and really grew this thing. Uh, now they're, 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 they're pushing up for a playoff spot. Uh, you know, so we got to really make sure we're getting back to the defense and guard that three-point line. Is part of that point guard decision, you said a couple days ago, kind of strength, kind of long Yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out uh, what, what can get us off to the best start more than anything else. Uh, what gives that group a chance to get off to a good start. Tough blow is that for Yeah, I mean, um, they've all kind of had to go through something, it seems like, you know. Frank had an ankle there, Mitchell had his ankle, Kevin had an ankle, you know, now it's Mud's turn to get, you know, a shoulder. Uh, Timmy had a hammy, and it was just kind of bounced around. So, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, I thought he was playing good basketball over the course of this year. So I think it'll be a minor setback. Uh, give me time to, to really push him from a conditioning standpoint, because his legs still work. Uh, and then hopefully he can come back and hit the ground running. Is it a matter with Frank that he's comfortable in the backup role? Yeah, I thought about that, but you know where we are with our team. I think you know all experience is good experience, so um, I'm not gonna let that be the determining factor uh, tonight uh, and moving forward with the next. You know, with Mud being out, knowing me for a couple of weeks, uh, you know, I'm gonna try to see if I can put the right team out there to get us off to a good start. Do you see that changing? over the course of however long he's out, just in terms of... Maybe. Maybe. You yeah. know, I let them kind of tell me that stuff. Uh, if I see something I don't like, then I may mess with it. But if, I, if it looks like it's something that uh, we can work with for a few games, then I'll keep it. What would you think of uh, Frank's um, development improvement, if there's been any setting up the offense? Daddy, I think he's good. That part I don't think he has any problem with. Like, he's an organizer. That that he's he's very good at getting people where they're supposed to be, getting guys uh, organized, getting us into the places uh, that everyone knows where everyone's supposed to be. Um, you know, again, it's just about once Frank gets consistent from shooting the ball from three, I think you're gonna see a whole different game from him because uh, now that opens up his ability to get to the paint and do things like that. But when it comes to just organizing us, getting people shots. Stuff like that, Frank is. Uh, I think he's already understanding that. I mean, if you did say with him that his form looked great, his shooting form looked great. Yeah. That's not the issue. Is it still mental or is it? Yeah, maybe and just reps. Maybe more reps. You know, again, I, you know, you compare him rep wise to a guy that's 22, 23 years old. You're talking about probably 30,000 shots, uh, something crazy like that, maybe even more. Uh, when you talk about these great shooters, so. Um, you know, I think it's just a matter of the, the constant work, which also builds confidence in what you're doing. And then once he sees it going enough, it, it'll become part of it. And you said you went small the other day because of the matchup with Houston. You yeah. decided how you go off. Considering doing the same thing, yeah. yeah. When you see D'Angelo Russell on the film now, what's different this year than in past years? Confidence, growth, he's just gotten better. You know, what year is this for him now? Is four. This? Exactly. So usually these guys around three or four. You know, they start to figure some things out, especially if they got good work ethic, good coaching. Um, and I just think he's built up his confidence now. I found that system uh, and a coach that, that puts him in great situations. Did you um, 
the other night to finally get an explanation on the objection and read up what the referee said, because I'm sure you wanted to kind of know where the line is that you can go to. That you I just read what you guys read and left it at that. Were you okay with that? And yeah, I got to move on. This is, we got the next. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't be concerned with that. You know, I got to be worried about this team right now tonight and coaching my guys. Is that, I'm sure that's usually in the coach of all you have. You generally know exactly how far you can go before yeah. that. You do. Yeah. Sometimes we disagree on what that line should be. Tim, Tim seemed uh, maybe uh, a little annoyed that Trier's tweet basically implicating him in the first of the on that. Um, and those, those two talked to that. Oh, yeah. Think, oh, yeah. And we do it face to face. Tim went right to him. Hey, man, can't do that. And it wasn't about him as much as it was. We just don't want to, we don't want to give anybody uh, the idea that they can get to you. And that we talk about stuff on our roof. It was great. They handled it. We talked about it as a group, just in general, um, how we handle ourselves and conduct ourselves as mates. Um, and then we move on. All right, thanks, all. Thanks, guys. Thanks, coach.